Hello and welcome back to Trailer Shots. I'm your host and bartender Doug King and this week we are definitely going to have some laughs with three great comedies starting off with Ted, the new Seth MacFarlane film, then The Dictator, and The Five-Year Engagement. So grab your cocktail and get ready, we're going to have some trailer shots. First up is Seth MacFarlane's live action directoral debut. He's best known for writing and producing the animated television shows The Family Guy, American Dad, and The Cleveland Show. This is called Ted and it stars Mark Wahlberg. Let's have a look. It has been said that magic vanished from our world a long time ago. But if there's one thing you can be sure of, you could really talk to me. It's that nothing is more powerful than a young boy's wish. You're my best friend, John. I love you. But eventually, everyone grows up. I've taken Lori to dinner. You don't think she's going to be expecting something big, do you? It's been four years, Johnny. You and me have been together for 27 years. Where's my ring? Huh? Where's my ring? Put it on my fuzzy finger. Where's my ring? Come on. Knock it off. I know, I'm just saying. Man. That's my bad. I was sending a tweet. John. Hi, Thomas. How are you? Ted to move out so we can move on with our lives. I'm not that psyched to just, like, kick him out. Oh. Laurie, hey, you're home early. Who are these girls? Oh, my God, where are my manners? Laurie, this is Angelique, Heavenly, Shireen, and Sauvignon Blanc. I swear to God, her name is Sauvignon Blanc. Show your Chevron card. Ted, you gotta move out. Now, I'll help you get on your feet out there, I promise. Bring it in, you bastard. Come on. I love you. Sorry, that's the... Oh. The, th the thing. The old. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, no, yeah. I know. I met a girl. Nice. She's a cashier. Oh, I like to do to her something I call a dirty fuzzy. How you like now? How you like now? Down here, not looking up your towel, swear to God, not looking at your funny business. Sometimes I think back to that Christmas morning when I was eight years old. I wish I'd just gotten a Teddy Ruxpin. Yeah. How you like now? I look stupid. No, you don't. You look dapper. John, I look like something you give to your kid when you tell him grandma died. Well, that movie looks freaking hilarious. I gotta tell you, uh, Seth MacFarlane is very funny. If you're a fan of The Family Guy or American Dad, you're gonna love this film. Mark Wahlberg looks classic. He's obviously more well known for his action adventure stuff, but uh, you know the only other comedy that I know he's done is uh, the other guys with Will Ferrell, and he was great in that. He looks hilarious. Seth MacFarlane is the voice of Ted the Bear, and that is going to be hilarious. I mean, I am really looking forward to this film. It looks great. There is a Red Band trailer, which I'm going to try and put up on the Facebook page, that is uh, even got some funnier scenes. So that is Ted. It's going to open July 13th, and I am giving that five out of five shots for two reasons. One, it looks freaking hilarious. I've said that. So, But the second reason is there is a cavalcade, a venerable cornucopia, a plethora of gorgeous women in this film. I can't even remember all their names, so I'm just going to read them to you. Obviously, Mila Kunis, who's gorgeous, is in it. You've got Jessica Strope, Laura Vandervoot, who was in uh, Smallville and played uh, Supergirl, because she is Supergirl, Melissa Ordway, Jessica Barth, Ginger Gonzaga, and Joel McHale. Oh, oh sorry, my bad. Anyway, great cast, Great writing, Seth MacFarlane, Mark Wahlberg, Mila Kunis, July 13th, it's Ted, and five out of five shots. I give that one a cheers. 
Next up is another outrageous comedy birthed out of the comedic mind of Sasha Baron Cohen, who brought us Barat and Bruno. Get ready for The Dictator. For over four decades, the people have lived under the rule of a tyrant who denies them their most basic human rights. The time has come for him to step aside. We must keep on with the NATO mission and bring him to justice. I am for free press, fair elections, and equal rights for women. <laughs> I can't say that. On your mark. Get set. Supreme Leader, the United Nations demands that you come to New York and address them. Sign! We are going to... America. I ain't gotta tell you what it's your boy Ho from the US. Admiral General, welcome to New York City. And while you're here, I highly recommend a visit to the Empire State Building before you or one of your cousins takes it down. Rise and shine. Nobody's gonna recognize you. No, 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 no. Without this. Oh! Where you could lend me some money, maybe $20 million. I'm here to deliver my speech to the United Nations. Look, it's too hot for crazy. Come on! Come on, me! Could you please take your hands off my breasts? Those are breasts? I thought you were a boy. I accept your job offer as general manager. Well, you can't be the manager because I'm the manager. Well, I can if I killed you. Okay, well. Hey, can you take out the garbage? Stop that. Shut up, loser. Oh. Hey, Hairnet, kind of need you to hurry up. Chop, chop. Next. This is the plan. We're just two ordinary American tourists. I love being an American. Illa wahwani aba law fawish mish al Empire State Building. Ah, Rabbi Sam, Buna Sam, the Rasul Shaida, the Statue of Liberty. Aywa. Oh, go, go, go! Hey, drop it to the floor, make me want to say. Well, that is a dictator, and it does look funny. You can always count on Cohen to be outrageous and to get 110% into his character, as he proved when he showed up at the Oscars on the red carpet and poured ashes all over Ryan Seacrest. You know, this film looks like it's going to be funny. There is definitely some funny parts in the trailer, but I'm a little bit worried that there is a secondary story that they hint at which is going to be him kind of maybe being redeemed, falling in love with this uh, young girl that he uh, meets there and who kind of saves him, almost like a, a, an Arthur-esque story, if, if you will. We'll see. I could be wrong. I'm going to give, only going to give this three out of five shots for that reason. While I think it's going to be very funny and definitely have some outrageous funny parts, I'm a little bit worried about the subplot. Supposedly, Cohen was inspired to write The Dictator after reading Saddam Hussein's novel, Zabiba and the King. Well, we'll see how that turns out on May 11th when The Dictator opens it in theaters. Our next film, The Five-Year Engagement, has a great comedy pedigree. In addition to Jason Segel starring in this, he co-wrote it with his partner, Nicholas Stoller. They also wrote The Muppets together, and Stoller, who is directing this film, also is well known for writing Get Him to the Greek, Yes Man, Fun with Dick and Jane, and Gulliver's Travels, all very funny films in their own right. It is also produced by Judd Apatow. So get ready, this is the five-year engagement. Violet, I love you. Will you marry me? Yes. She said I love you, boy, I love you so. This engagement party is a moment to celebrate a new future, but not without first exploring a past. Jenny, Newman, Greta, Kay, Anna, Pena, Lizzie Gray, this Korean, that Korean, and Lizzie Gray again. Okay, that's and enough. Friend. I think that's enough, right? I got a letter from the University of Michigan. I got a job for two years. Two years is nothing. Really? And we'll start planning the wedding again from there. Babe. 
We both know I deserve to get super laid for this. Do you want me to wear a cape or something? I want the show. You get the Cirque du Soleil of shows. Ooh. Lots of this and this stuff. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> Woo! How's Michigan? Oh! Oh! oh, it's a fire hydrant. All in all, it's an adjustment. Oh! Oh! Hey, here's our guest list, like 600 people. I know. Maybe just we You don't want to get in front of this train, but... Have you two picked a date yet? Not yet, but within the year. Congratulations, you've been promoted. You're going to be with us for a few more years. Can't wait to tell Tom. You told good. me that it was going to be two years. It's sort of like when you're on a treadmill and you tell yourself, I'm going to run five miles today, and now it's forever miles. When was the last time you were on a treadmill? Sorry. This is supposed to be exciting. This is your wedding. You only get a few of these. Well, I wonder. Of course, the men will wear yarmulkes. Babe, you don't have a yarmulke. I have a hold. It's in my you... Jewish drawer. I don't think we can figure out all of our problems before we get married, but I promise you that I will just love you every step of the way. when this wedding might happen? Grandparents do have a tendency to die. Mom, they're all right there. Not for now. <laughs> this is why we do not delay weddings. The five-year engagement. What a cute little flower girl you'll be. I'm Pocahontas. <laughs> Well, that looks pretty good. I'll admit, I have a soft spot for good romantic comedies, and I like the cast in this. Jason Segel and Emily Blunt play love interest, obviously, and this is not the first time that they've done that. They also did it in Gulliver's Travels, and they co-starred together in The Muppets. Another cast member who I think is absolutely hilarious in everything he's done is Reyes Ivans. He was great in Notting Hill, and I think he's going to be good in this film as well. I don't think I've ever seen him turn in a bad performance. And finally, one of the most beautiful women, I think, and I know I say that a lot, but Alison Brie is truly a stunning young lady. Let's just take a moment and look at why I believe that. She's on one of my favorite TV shows, Community, and I think she is just a stunningly beautiful young lady. She's a great actress. She's also in Mad Men. While well, I'm giving the five-year engagement only four out of five shots, one for the first four years of the engagement, and then I'm holding one back to see if they actually do make it to the altar. I think it has a great cast. I think the writer and director are superb, and Judd Apatow is obviously a very good producer. And the five-year engagement opens April 27th. Let's have one more look at Miss Bree, just because we can. Well, it's that time again. And what time is it, you ask? My favorite time, the drinking time. And today I've got a very simple drink for you. It's in honor of Ted, our five for a, out of five shot recipient, and the boisterous little teddy bear in Seth MacFarlane's film. For this, you're just gonna need a rocks glass, some ice, Bailey's Irish cream, and vodka. Start off by filling up your rocks glass. And then really very simple. You're just gonna build, you're gonna start off with vodka, I'm gonna give this a, uh, eight, a six count, two ounces. And then a six count or two ounces of uh, Bailey's. And then, while it's not really necessary, I'm gonna go ahead and roll this once because I find that the vodka tends to float on top of the Baileys, and if you roll it once, you do get a good mix. So this is called the Teddy Bear, very simple to build. Let's have a taste. Very nice. And that is the Teddy Bear. Again, it's very simple. It is two ounces of vodka of your choice and two ounces of Baileys Irish cream. 
I would also recommend if you wanted, you could use a vanilla flavored vodka and that would really enhance this as well. So cheers to the teddy bear. Well, that does it for another episode of Trailer Shots. I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoyed bringing it to you. I certainly enjoyed the cocktail, the teddy bear. Mine was gone in just a few very large gulps. If you did enjoy it, please leave a comment. I'd love to hear what you think about the films we reviewed as well as the cocktail. Subscribe so you don't miss an episode. And check us out on Facebook where we post additional trailers for some of the films we've reviewed here as well as other Hollywood gossip and trivia. Next week, we're looking at three great films. Safe with Jason Statham, The Amazing Spider-Man, the new re-imaging and reboot of that franchise, and Resident Evil Retribution. It's going to be a good show. Hope to see you then. Until then, cheers. I mean, the teddy bear's smoking a bong. He's grabbing breasts. I mean, that bear is out of control. He's my hero. But, I'll start again. <laughs>